So, Paul, have you ever noticed that little light that's on the dashboard that looks like an upside-down horseshoe? Yeah, ever since it got cold outside. I thought it was the freezing your butt off light. So you really don't know what the light is? No! I play music. I don't fix cars. Uh, okay. Well, it's a warning light, not a signal or a brake uh, to break out your tool case. That's a relief. So what's it warning me about? It's a tire pressure monitoring system light. It comes on when your tire pressure is too low. Oh, I guess I should be worried then? Well, I guess, or you could just put air in your darn tires. It shouldn't be too hard to put air in your tires. You know what? It's time for the top ten list. And from the home office in Sterling Heights, Michigan, it's the top ten things people say about TPMS. Here we go. Number ten. There's just way too much misinformation. I just can't believe how many different things I've heard about TPMS. One guy came in here and told me their sensors don't need tools or programming and are so easy to use that they would almost install themselves. Somebody else told me the sensors I currently use would stop working when a cell phone goes off. Another tool salesperson even said their tool would not only check the sensor batteries but would tell me how long before the batteries would be dead. There's no way I can sort through all the misinformation. I need help. Wow, that guy looks a bit shaken up. Number nine, TPMS is just too complicated. I just don't understand it. Number eight, it's just easier to send the car to the dealership. I made a decision to invest in a new solution so that we could stop sending the work out the door. It was a risky move, but at least we're keeping the work in-house. Yeah, hey John. It's Doug over at Felcher Auto Repair. Yeah, we got another one of those TPMS lights on a customer car. You know you can't be sending all this work out the door, man. The boss wants to keep this TPMS work up in this bumpity. You can't be bringing that up in here. You better watch it, Doug. There's a new sheriff in town now. Woo! And you better not forget to fill out your TPMS service report, Doug. Number seven, I can't get good technical support. Thank you for calling USA TPMS Tech Line. My name Peggy. You have a problem? Peggy, I have a TPMS question. Yes? I've been waiting on hold for 15 minutes. Oh. You tenacious like bull. Can you help me? Yes. The light won't go off. Yes. What should I do? Yes. What? Go to dealer. <laughs> Are you serious? Wow, that Peggy guy really gets around. Number six. TPMS requires too much training. <laughs> Number five, TPMS is just another government regulation. And we all know you can never get too much government regulation. Number four, I hate all new technology. Yeah, I've been trying to sell my Blackberry on Craigslist for weeks. <laughs> Number three, my car wasn't broke when I brought it here. <laughs> Number two, customers lie. <laughs> wow, look out. We thought it was only politicians that lie. <laughs> and the number one thing people say about TPMS is, I had to go to three different places to get my TPMS fixed. Even the dealer couldn't fix it. And there you have it. Top 10 things people say about TPMS.